y'all hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video well it's gonna be like a vlog type thing me and my mom is about to go to memphis to go to ikea and if you're new here my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe join the family before you leave okay so she's taking forever like always y'all know how she do so um yeah we about to go to memphis i gotta go to ikea i'm about to get my dresser that i've been wanting for like months i'm gonna put it right here the longer one is 170 79 dollars something like that and it's going to cut off right here like where prince cage is so i don't know if i'm going to get that one or the like vertical one that goes up the vertical one only has five drawers and then the other one has six and it's like a lot bigger my tv isn't going to be i'm going to mount my tv regardless but as of right now my tv probably isn't going to fit as well on the like taller one so i don't know what i'm gonna do but whichever one is easier to carry or whatever i guess this is what i'm gonna take where my son go i'm gonna take princess we about to go i'm just by the door <laughs> what time is it? time to go tell me the time it's gonna pee real fast this this be the whole of y'all <laughs> my mama with prince <laughs> jesus grandparents but yeah we about to go get breakfast because she didn't cook for us so it's 9 56 come on, come on get off that rug because you ain't about to pee come here come on come on i'll get at y'all when we get closer we at um love's gas station right now making a pit stop in some town i never even heard of it's like pris pris something my car just took $21. I had 100 miles left, but just so I don't really gotta stop again, I decided to stop here. And we about to use the bathroom and get back on the road and then be at Ikea. So we made it. <coughs> we made it to Ikea. As you can see, the store is back behind me. That, it was like so much traffic. Traffic was like at least for like 30 minutes straight. Not like stuck traffic, but like just you know steady moving traffic but a lot of traffic so all right so hope this dresser can fit in my car hmm. <laughs> if the big one can't fit then i'm gonna have to go return it and get the small one whatever it is 224 we'll probably either eat inside of ikea or we'll eat somewhere like around in memphis somewhere i don't know <laughs> so we have to confirm some crap He's getting the boxes down there. You ain't gonna push? <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, I'm gonna help. So we got three boxes. Hopefully the long one can fit. And then we got two small ones. I'm gonna try to put this up either today or tomorrow. And the lines are long. So we just left Chili's. I forgot to record. Um, Chili's experience here in Memphis was not as well as it is in Arkansas. I'm just gonna put that out there. But <laughs> this is the one we went to. It's literally right by my window dirty. Ooh, excuse me. We went to the one right across the street from Wolf Chase Mall. Wolf Chase right behind us. And oops. It's 446. We was about to go to some stores, but we're not gonna get back since they did the little alternate route thing, whatever. I don't know. We're not gonna be back until about three hours so we're just gonna go back and go home the boxes are back here I didn't want to go get your shoes real bad nah miss ma'am what yeah. store you want to go to a shoe store which shoe store you look them up oh wait can you pull that down Ooh, this thing hot hey fold it up uh 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 <laughs> <laughs> she's just trying to crumble it up in a ball let me, I got money. Let, me your, let me see your bank account on your phone we at rack room and mama trying to count my pockets okay we, we about to go to rack room and then she want to go to five below if y'all from memphis y'all know what i'm talking about where i'm at but um, five below is right there we is not going to coast look she's talking about so let's just gonna get home but want to go to all these stores Calls down the street, so we got three stores to go to, and she's still ain't out the car yet. I got me two pairs of shoes. What? You get buy one half. Let me see these 
Hello. They're about the same color ain't they here? No, not really. I, they different. Hello. So I forgot to bring my camera, but I'm in Lowe's. Um, I had to get some a spider killer off spray. I was looking for the outdoor fabric shield spray. And then I got some white spray paint. Y'all see what I'll do with this later. But those are the five items I got. And like I said, um, in Home Depot. I might have said Lowe's. I'm in Home Depot. So now I'm going to go to... I got to get my eyebrows started at the mall. And then I'm going to go to... Um, where am I going? I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. I'm doing this DIY project for my bathroom. I'll explain it when I get home. But yeah, I'm ready to check out. Those are all the items I needed. All under $10. Okay, so hey y'all. The last time y'all... The last time y'all seen me... I don't know if I was at, I might have been at Home Depot. I didn't bring my camera with me today, all the places I went, but I recorded a little bitty clip in Home Depot. So I'm going to show what I got from there first. I think I already showed y'all, but I'm going to explain why I got everything. So this is for my outdoor furniture. I couldn't find the outdoor spray, but this is going to have to work because this all they had. So I'm going to spray this all over my patio furniture and my rug and stuff to keep it looking nice. It's a, uh, it's waterproof fabric spray, whatever. And I also bought some just regular white spray paint. You can use it for wood, metal, plastic, and other things. It's fast drying, indoor and outdoor. So this is the brand I got because it was the cheapest. It was like $4.98. So I'm going to be doing a DIY project from the stuff that I bought from Dollar Tree. So you'll see that. I also just bought some off spray because like I said, I'm going to be sitting on my patio this summer and my dad want to do like a barbecue type thing. So... We're going to need some olive spray. And since my place is pretty new, I'm still seeing spiders around. So I got this spider killer. I don't know. It was rated 4.9, like the best spider killing spray. So hopefully it works. I've been seeing like a few spiders here and there every couple days. And I don't fuck with spiders. So I got that. All right. So from Dollar Tree, I got a few bags. I had to go to two different Dollar Trees because the first one I went to didn't have the like glass containers that I was looking for so I'm going to be working on my guest bathroom first because I've been having some guests frequently so I want to have them accommodated for so I got this paper towel rack to put in there this is just some like basically the Mr. Clean clean things but the off brand <laughs> got those are you looking at me or your phone oh <laughs> And then I got disposable razors for when guests come if they need to shave. For my women, I got panty liners that I'm going to put in there, like feminine wipes, cotton balls. You're going to see what I do with those. I got hair ties. I got these travel bottles. You're going to see what I'm going to do with these for DIY. And I also got shaving cream. The shaving cream is for me, but I should have got two so I can put one in there. And then... Y'all know I can't go nowhere without getting print something. So I got him these little fun travel size bacon bites that you can take on the go, like in your purse somewhere. <laughs> and then I got some toothpaste for my guests. This is the kind I like. So I just got that. And then I got something else that I can't show on camera. So that was from the first Dollar Tree. The second Dollar Tree I went to had everything that I wanted. I was actually going to buy these vinegar and oil containers from Amazon. But obviously, if I can get them for a dollar, I did that. So Dollar Tree had these. I just got some more dishwashing liquid. I got some stuff for the toilet. So the DIY stuff that I got is this like blingy, cute glitter. Not glitter. <laughs> Rhinestone <laughs> ribbon. And you're going to see what I do with that. And I also got these like... I was looking for marbles. They didn't have marbles, so I got like these gems. You're gonna see what I'm gonna do with these. I got four of these just glass jar containers. It comes with the lid. Um, I'm gonna do a DIY. I'm gonna put the girl on the screen that I got this idea from. But yeah, I got four of these jars. I'm gonna be spray painting them, making them look cute and glam, and they're gonna be going into my guest bathroom. 
And from Target, I got this hot glue gun. This one was only like five something dollars and it comes with the glue stick. So I got this one. I'm going to be needing these because you're going to see, you're going to see. <laughs> and from Ikea, I got that dresser y'all saw. I got that yesterday. I also got another, what is this called? What is this? Organizer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got some more drawer organizers. If y'all seen my first Ikea haul, y'all saw that I got this. He's squeaking his toy. It, it never fails. Every time I record, he starts squeaking his toy. Hey, hey. I'm recording. And you're squeaking. <laughs> So that's all the goods I got. Um, I'm cooking me something to eat. I'm about to start building my um, dresser. So once I get done with my dresser, I'm going to start on all the DIY projects. I don't know how much I'm going to keep into this vlog. Um, if it's not over like an hour long, then I'll keep like the DIY portion into it. But yeah, we're about to start building this dresser and then I'll get back to y'all once I'm halfway done. I'm about to start putting together my um, dresser. The one I got from Ikea, it comes in three pieces. So as you can see, this huge piece behind me, and then I got two other smaller boxes up over there. So I'm about to break open the big one and then see what we work with from there. No, 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 no. I mean, not. Who's taller than me? This is as tall as me, bro. This is five three. Yes, like standing up this way, it's five three. Cause I'm 5'3". That's crazy. Okay, so I got everything unboxed. I thought they gave me like the wrong pieces, but these are for the drawers. They're like gray. So this is obviously not gonna be shown <laughs> because here's the picture. So they're gonna be like those right there. And then the actual piece that's gonna show are those six pieces right there. And then these both go on the sides. And then those are over there, whatever they're for. And then I got these boxes has all the tools in them that is something i just put all the like pieces together so we just gonna figure this out okay so i said bro no no get back so i categorized everything separate everything and i'm about to start like i said they have no words so it took me five minutes to figure out this is the actual drawer part so we're gonna start with this one and then go from there. Body nice. See, I got them, them moving right. See, they get them, I got me hypnotized. Them, I make a bad man feel alright. Yeah, yeah. Man, I tell them, she gone low. Say, you gonna give me when I'm on low. Man, I tell them, she gone low. All the drawers made up. I just got to put the bottom on in the back. This is the last one I got to do. So making good progress. I started at 7. It's 7.26. So not too bad. Y'all, look at him. <laughs> he crawls behind it and peeks from behind. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Weird. So now I have to take these little things and literally just hide the holes basically. So this is where the flat tip screwdriver comes in. And put it in there, twist it around, and do that on all of them. All right, so now I just gotta slide these into the back of it. Um, they all look, it all looks the same. So it just says slide right in the back. Man, 
So the drawers are completely done. There they go. This was the last thing that I had to do. The only thing left is to put them into the actual dresser part. So I'm about to work on the dresser now. And then once the dresser is almost done, I'm gonna move all this stuff out, bring it in here, and then finish setting it up. Setting it up so I don't obviously have to bring the whole dresser in here because then it's gonna be heavy. So when I get the base foundation, I'm gonna bring that in here and then finish up. So yeah, it's 8.48. I took about a 20 minute break to take Prince outside and get some water and stuff like that. So still doing pretty good time and I think. Calling all your friends when they come through. Do you give me your number when I come through? Do you really, really friends for the girls when they come through? Come through. Bad man, say she want, say she really want, and she try to be the one. Uh, calm down, take it slow. Say the key, I let my phone in my yard, then I give me low. If you trip it, let me know what you really want. Is it riding with me or you really dead? Then my girl, then I tell me that you really not. Make up your mind, let me know if you just. So, y'all, why does it say I need two people? I am the only person here. It's just to align it equally, but I think I can probably get it. So. Step 20 to 22 is basically joining them both together. So I'm about to move my TV and my little cube thingy up out of there. Set this up against the wall because obviously I'm not going to be able to carry this dress by myself. <laughs> Bad man, say she want, say she really want, and she try to be the one. Uh, calm down, take it slow, say the key, I let my phone in my yard, then I give you low. If you trip it, let me know what you really want. Is it riding with me, or you really dead? Then my girl, then my tell me that you really not. Make up your mind, let me know if you just got. No, 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 Monday, June 14th, and I'm about to start on the DIY project first. Um, as y'all saw, I finally got my dresser done at like 10 something at night, and I was just like, F it. So everything is still in there looking crazy, but I'm about to start on this DIY project because I have to actually hot glue and I have to spray paint. Spray paint. So while all this is drying, I'm just going to be putting up the other items. So yelling upstairs so i'm letting it um heat up it said about three to five minutes it's been about three two of these on there together so i'm gonna hot glue these together and then so i can easily like lift it up and down i glued like once before it was pretty hot so it's been ooh. okay so they said oh shit so yeah hot glued once before <laughs> Obviously, we see that now. Okay. I said I'm going to need two sticks for my first one. 
So I'm just going to put this on. So while those are drying, I'm going to start on the other DIY project. So printed out this. It has face, face wash, moisturizer, toner, and makeup remover. Um, I for sure have face wash, toner. I got makeup remover. As far as moisturizer go, this on my fabric the spray paint and then I've been spraying this for spiders and just all bugs out here so about to start spray painting back up move and stuff dry i'm gonna actually move this cube thingy to my um guest bedroom makeup room studio whatever so i'm just gonna measure it to see if i want to put it in the closet what side the closet i want to put on so it's about 35 and a half inches so i'm gonna go back in here and definitely have to clean up this mess so this is all of my new stuff from um, blush mark i was gonna do a tiktok if i decide to get cute tomorrow then i'll do one so this is my closet um definitely probably gonna have to go on this side because that rack is right there so it was about 35 and a half inches so here so yeah it'll fit in here perfectly um it's probably about this tall so i'm just gonna move all my luggage and stuff under there and then i'm gonna keep the cube back here because i can like stuff a lot of stuff in there like it'll maximize my space and then i can like stack stuff on top of the shelf so i'm gonna clean up this stuff on the ground Here's a hack if you got hardwood floors, don't want to scratch it and stuff is too heavy. Let's put everything on the towel and then slide it down. got done folding all of my clothes that just got out of the um dryer this stack right here um needs to be hung up on hangers in my actual closet this whole pile right here is all of my scrub scrub caps anything job related hospital related um i got a few let me put these bras over here 
So I'm about to put everything into my dresser. Um, I already opened up these cubbies. These are from Ikea. Um, I like them because they have the little zip right there. I thought that was really cute. But I'm probably not going to keep all of these in one. Um, I don't know how I'm going to organize all of this stuff yet. So I have literally everything laid out to kind of see what needs to go where. Drawers are all empty. I'm going to come back when I have something in every drawer because... I want to listen to music we do not mess with r kelly i got it on um r&b slow jams so yeah i'm going to get all of these drawers filled and we're going to come back and show you oh, i like this one so let's go check outside and see if these things are dry Okay, so they're dry and they got dirty a little bit. So I don't like that you can still see the blue right there. Okay, so all of my drawers are filled. This first one, like I said, this is all of my thongs. This is like period panties, boy shorts, hipsters, all of that. These are my bras. I put the ones that I normally wear, like the first five, like this, so I can just pull it out. And all the ones that I wear on different occasions or really don't pull from are back there. These are like the stickies with the bras. This is boob tape. And then I got like clear bra straps. So anything like that is in here. And this box is all of my lingerie. And then in the back is like two random bras. So this part doesn't like slide back. And this one is all of my t-shirts, sleep t-shirts and regular t-shirts. This one is my blue jeans. I didn't take the blue jeans out the closet. Um, I'm just gonna keep them like this for now. And then these are like the pants that make your booty look big. All my pants is in here, basically. Most of them. And this one is all of my scrubs. So I got my scrub caps are in here. And these are my t-shirts for my job. Back here is my long sleeve t-shirts that I wear in the winter time. Definitely don't need that now with it being like 97 degrees outside. And then all of these are my scrubs. These are like my clinical scrubs and stuff like that when I was in nursing school. So this one has all of my leggings and like workout clothes. So this being, oh, her son. This bin has all of my sports bras. This has my workout shorts and my workout leggings. And then over here, these are just regular leggings, um, Adidas pants, and sweatpants over there. This last one, um, don't really have anything to put in here, honestly, because this is just like sleep pajamas and like a little pullover cover, like stuff that I would sleep in. So <laughs> the freaking thing literally came off outside so i'm gonna try to hot glue this back excuse you sir but these these are okay um oops the plan is to be able to pick it up like that let me get a bowl so this is so i want to be able to do this and obviously they screw on but i don't want them to be screwed on Okay, so this is the one. And then I'm going to put this ribbon along the edge of here just to give it a little bit of glitz and glam, if you will. I'm working on 
on today or right now in the guest room is my countertop. Um, I'm going to put those pictures up somewhere and get that out of there. And then I'm going to add some um, bath towels in here for my guests. Um, I'm going to switch out this shower curtain. Like I have, there's another YouTube video that I'm about to follow of like a bathroom transformation. So you're going to see when I do that. That'll probably be like in a couple weeks. But yeah, I'm probably going to put this up in here. from one of my ipsy subscriptions i'm just going to use this um foaming cream cleanser and then i don't have a um like an actual facial moisturizer so i'm just going to put in this uh, moisturizing lotion sometimes i put lotion on my face you know to moisturize it like dove or something and then toner is going to go in here so we're going to do the toner first because that's probably going to come out the fastest. So we're just going to fill this up. that I keep in my room in like an old Bath and Body Works candle thing. So I'm just gonna take the ones out of here and put it here so I can have this done. And then tomorrow I'm just gonna go buy some whenever I leave it out. And then the rest of the stuff that I got for my guests is gonna go under the cabinet. I'm not gonna show that one in this video because I'm gonna do like a whole organization video. And oh, I did have cute tips. I'm like, I know I had some. a little tray to put this on but um the dollar trees i went to they didn't have any trays so i'm still going to try to find some i don't know if i want it diagonal like that or if i want them like that tell me what y'all think straight or should i do diagonal okay and then for these I have this little thing right here, so kind of like a hotel vibe, you know, is what I'm going for. So, one, two, three. Instead of just keeping it right there, I kind of want to place it on something. So, I mean, I can place it on this little tray. I don't know. Tell me, tell me what y'all think. Because I don't know if I want to keep these in here or actually use, like, the round paper towel. Because I bought a... um round thingy or I can put it like that and have that be too much over there or I keep soap right here have that right there and then that going diagonal I think I like that setup but that's my DIY project I like it <laughs> 